Hey everybody, J.K. Calloway here at Real J.K. Calloway, coming at you with the results for this week's hashtag skirmish game. This week we played hashtag why best friends rule. It was National Best Friends Day, so why not have some fun with it? Make sure you boop, click on the hashtag, start scrolling, meet lots of new people, have a good time, make some new best friends. <laughs> Before we get going, make sure you download the hashtag Roundup app. All the best weekly hashtag games are there, including hashtag skirmish. We play it every single Friday, 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. Appreciate it. Make sure you check it out. It's a free download. What you waiting for? Go get it. But now let's get right into it. Our top 10 for this week's hashtag skirmish game. Hashtag why best friends rule. Number 10 comes from at Music for Peeps. Because they tell you the things you don't want to tell yourself. Very, very true. We all kind of live with rose-colored glasses, especially when looking in the mirror. So someone that can just sit you down and tell you the way it is is always helpful and pretty much necessary. <laughs> Thankfully, I don't have too many best friends. Otherwise, they would have told me this whole YouTube thing was a bad idea. Subscribe today. Number nine comes from at Spry Tagger. They are sometimes an extension of yourself. Kind of an extension of the last one. A lot of times when you make great friends with someone, they're very similar to who you are, so they can kind of hold up that mirror a little bit. So they can be that one to kind of go, hey, you're an idiot. You know how I know? I'm an idiot, so <laughs> here's what you're doing wrong. Number eight comes from at GBQ underscore YT. She was there when I had no one. I owe her my life. We still stand strong even after almost 19 years. You know, subtweeting during a best friend game is just rude. <laughs> but no, that's really cool you have someone in your life like that. It's outstanding. Hopefully everyone's got someone like that that they can really rely on, especially when they're down. So, very cool. Number seven comes from at 10 to disagree. It's good to have someone in your life where you look at them and go, at least I'm not as bad as that. I can't lie, I've got a few friends like that, where I'm just kind of like, whew, use a train wreck. I guess I'm not that bad. They're always still good people, they just make, oh, just the worst decisions that make you just say to yourself, I'm doing okay. <laughs> Number six comes from at Cordero91. They come up with the best worst ideas ever. Little secret, I've never seen Step Brothers. It just looked like really stupid to me <laughs> so I just never saw it but very relatable <laughs> you know I, mean? I remember once I was at a buddy's cousin's place I think and they were having like a little campfire in the backyard with one of those big cardboard tubes in the fire you know what I mean like it's just for something like plastic wrap or I don't know but I thought it'd be so funny to pretend it was a joint so I grabbed the thing put it up to my lips and mind the other end is literally in the fire and legitimately sucked in as much as I could ah ooh, I might I might have almost died if my best friend wasn't there it was just kind of like that that was brilliant super funny couldn't breathe for about two minutes straight and then the girl I just started seeing I was like 19 at the time so the girl I just started seeing like the previous week showed up and I'm over like like oh, oh, hey! <laughs> number five comes from at Rishu underscore 1809 they have the same dirty mind like us I like this one but the phrasing is weird your best friend has the same as us meaning your multiple personalities or another best friend might come into the fold with you and your best friend as in us like what do you mean here my English Grammar Nazis popping out. <laughs> Either way, you've got one best friend and you got more than that. So you're winning. Good job for you. <laughs> Number four comes from at Roy to Dave. They will stab you in the front. I mean, it's better than the back. Sorry. Number three comes from at 13 Astard. You cheeky little bastard, you. They fill the gap until you can find a way to be your own best friend, and they allow you to fill that gap for them. Yeah, it always takes longer to love yourself than it would to take loving someone else, man. That's just... That's how we work. 
And it's always without fail, it's that great friend that helps you see the things that actually make you start to love yourself before you could ever see them. So yeah, that's that's a great sentiment and tweet, so... Well done, you bastard. <laughs> Number two comes from at Anashopkina10. Always there when you need a drinking partner. LOL! Yeah, it's cool, but you don't really need friends for that. You can go to the bar and make a friend. And that person could become your best friend. For the night. With sex. Now, before we get to our number one, here are a few honorable mentions, including one from the host at Real JK Callaway. One from me. They also hate Karen from HR. Seriously, Karen. Just, just tone it down a bit. Kind of a long-running joke that people named Karen are just the worst. One from Dustin G underscore 86. You always have someone to talk to and annoy you at the same time. That's kind of how you know it's a best friend, because on occasion, they're going to piss you off. It's almost a watermark of friendship. If you can get through your first big fight, I don't know if you want to call it a fight, but first big time, you're just like, wow, you're, you're, you're just a piece of crap. I don't like you. If you can get past that and still be friends after, oh, they might be a bestie. One for Matt Kesha Tedder. They love you even though you're a weirdo that scares people. Whatever do you mean? I do apologize for that. I don't really have one of those faces that's made for close-ups. One from it, Cat Funny. You never know when you'll need clean urine. I like this one, but at the same time, if you're going to be someone's best friend, and you're not sober, good fair chance they're also not sober. <laughs> I just had kids. There's my clean urine. <laughs> and one from a Swiss mistress. I could steal her shirts. I mean borrow. Without asking. My wife's my best friend. I think it looks better on me anyway. Oh my... I hope she wasn't in love with this shirt. <laughs> I can't even get off. Oh. oh, God. Oh, that was a stupid idea for a bit. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay, that one's done. Uh, okay, thank God. And our number one for this week's hashtag skirmish game comes from at Tweet Feels Good. They'll cheer you up when you're down. I mentioned something like this a few times in the countdown there, but yeah, that's the best thing about a best friend is they will be there for you when you really don't want anyone to be there for you. It's a fun little moment we all have, and hopefully we've all got that one person who will forcibly enter your life and turn it around for you, because sometimes we don't want to do it for ourselves. So. To all the best friends out there, thank you. You guys are awesome. Especially if you're a best friend with benefits. You're just hitting all the check marks on the things we all need in our lives. <laughs> thank you so much for watching my video. Make sure you do hit subscribe. Should be right around here. Check out my latest video. It'll be over there. Find me on other social media sites. Always real JK Calloway. Give a follow to my personal hashtag game on Twitter. It's at hashtag skirmish. And check out the hashtag roundup app. All the best weekly hashtag games, including mine. My name's JK Calloway, and we'll talk to you next time.